got extra scary when we started to see what was happening in other provinces, specifically in the senior living industry, with major outbreaks. Uh, and in some cases, many, you know, those residents, you know, that had to go to the hospital and some passed away, mm -hmm. you know, that really made us on scary our end it, very scary. Our residents were scared, family were scared, staff was scared. So that was something that made us look and, you know, how do we want to treat, take a bit of a different approach here so, to keep people safe. So what did you do to deal with the fear factor right off the top? <laughs> You know, the first thing I guess it's worth saying is there's no playbook for this, right? So there's no pandemic playbook. There's never been something like this of its kind before. Um, one of the things that we felt was really important, to, uh, you know, to provide safety and security uh, and just a bit of reassurance to staff or residents and to their families um, was to have some of our most senior people on the team actually be there 24 hours a day to deal with any of the unknown types of situations that could, co could come about um, and be there to really, you know, help that staff handle situations they may have never dealt with before and, you know, not to put them in a position where we're asking them to do something that we wouldn't be prepared so to do ourselves. Clear, 24 hours, what do you mean by that? Like, are you there day in, day out, 24 hours? Or? Yeah, literally staying overnight. Yeah, so there's a for group... how long did you do that? Uh, there's a group of about six of us. Uh, three of us stayed permanently for about two months straight and another three were on sort of a week-on, week-off rotation. So um, there is a significant amount of coverage, you know, at all times times for all areas of our village for a full two months, even a full month into the whole reopen Saskatchewan plan. Well,